New tonight, Beaumont City Council has approved the purchase of nearly three dozen mm -hmm. new vehicles for various city, city departments, totaling more than $1.3 million. The majority will go to the Beaumont Police Department. As 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson found a purchase this big is something the city can handle. The vote to purchase these new vehicles was unanimous. I talked with Beaumont Assistant Police Chief Jim Clay. He tells me that this is a yearly expense the department budgets for. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries unanimously. More than $1.3 million will be used to purchase new city vehicles. 23 of them will be for the Beaumont Police Department. Assistant Police Chief Jim Clay says the new vehicles will replace ones that have high mileage, maintenance issues, or just too expensive to repair. We try to keep most vehicles, uh, our frontline patrol cars in service for in the neighborhood 120,000 miles over the course of its lifetime. At Tuesday's meeting, council members also approved spending nearly $100,000 on 284 new cell phones for officers. That's to stay in compliance with the new law that went into effect September 1st. The Senate Bill 944 uh, basically created some uh, additional requirements for uh, public information regarding information on personal uh, devices such as cell phones. Councilman at large W.L. Pate tells me there are sometimes unforeseen costs, but the city is prepared. We've got 40 plus million dollars in a reserve fund. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people call it a rainy day fund. That is multiples of what most cities have in reserve. Let's get back to the need for those new vehicles. Chief Clay says that a fleet manager is responsible for inspecting each vehicle and that a report is submitted by May. As we, we drive around, we want to make sure that our officers are in a safe car. Uh, you never know when an officer may be involved in a pursuit. And right now there's an auction going on online where you can purchase a former police vehicle. All that money earned from the auction goes back to the city. In Beaumont, Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.